yours, though. Now, I'll come up with something. Heck, don't want to stay in my street clothes on Halloween, do you? Nah, sure. Holy cat! There you are! Hey, Commander USA here. Sauron superhero. Legion of Decency. Retired. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came here today, boy. This is gonna be exciting. Yeah, my amp puppet lefty, he's pretty excited, too. Because this is the first annual Halloween special. Oh, it's gonna be real exciting. Got all kinds of things going on. Yeah, I'm... Holy cats! Look who's here! Oh! Hey, Angelina! Angelina, you made it! Hey, <laughs> you sound good, girl. Oh, you remember Angelina, don't you? Oh, yeah, I didn't think she could make it tonight. Glad you came, girl. Oh, yeah, she's working for the city now. Yeah, she got a job with the sewer department. Oh, yeah, she really knows the territory. Yeah, she got in through the AAA. That's affirmative action for amphibians. Oh, yeah, she's doing real well now. Got job security and everything. Hey, I'm really glad. Hey, we got your favorite movie on tonight. Yeah! Oh, you knew that, huh? Hey, it's great for Halloween, huh? All Hallows' Eve. Ooh! Speaking of hollow, <laughs> feel a little hollow myself, huh? Yeah, kind of hungry. Will you see the treats I got? Oh, this is great. Come on over here a second. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, man, the trick-or-treaters are in for some real good stuff tonight, boy. Yeah, I made kind of a deal with Duncan. Oh, you know, Duncan Ronaldo Donuts up in the mall? Yeah. He's got this new kind of health treat. It's called kelp donuts. Yeah, kelp. It's supposed to be real good for you. And then, oh, hey, these are delicious. Frog cakes. Oh, they're great, yeah, very tasty. Got kind of a strange side effect, though, you know, and I make you a little jumpy. <laughs> nah, that's just a joke, sure. Plus, fresh prunes, huh? It's important to be punctual. And then, hey, the piece of resistance right here. Peanut butter, caviar swirls. Oh, man. Mmm. Couldn't be better, hey. Yeah, tastes like beluga. Hey, Angelina, how about a kelp donut here, huh? Oh. <laughs> I can tell you ate already, huh? Oh, no, it'll be... The movie? Oh, sure, hey, we'll get to the movie right now. Oh, this is gonna be scary, boy. Oh, just a thing for a Halloween night. Yeah, let me open the telepsychotronic screen heat and radiation shield unit here. Yeah, give her a pull there, will you left? Warm tonight, boy. Hey, this is gonna be exciting. Oh, this is... I just don't know what to say about it. I mean, it's so scary and slimy and swampy. It's called the alligator people. Oh, yeah, it's real neat, see? It's got Bruce Bennett and Beverly Garland, plus Lon Chaney Jr. Hey, what could be scarier than that, eh? Yeah, down in the Louisiana swamps, boys, all kinds of slimy snakes and slugs and amoeba and paramecium and all kinds of scary stuff. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of fun, okay? All right, let's not waste any time. We'll get right to it for a special Halloween treat, the alligator people.
Wayne. Oh, it was good of you to come, busy as you are. Never too busy for an interesting case, especially one of yours. Thanks. Appreciate your interest. <laughs> On the phone, you said you were having a serious problem with a young girl. Yeah. Nurse here, as a matter of fact. Pretty. <laughs> Here's her case history. Jane Marvin. Yeah, hey, that's the name she's using. Very competent girl. And pretty. Happened when she volunteered to help me in my research in narco-hypnosis techniques. When do I get to see you? Right now, if you want. Fine. Jane, would you come in, please? Yes, sir. She'd always appeared perfectly normal. Pure accident, but I discovered this strange thing about her. Yes, doctor? Jane, I'd like you to meet Dr. Larimer. He and I were half the football backfield at med school. I did the blocking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do, sir? Very happy to know you, Jane. I wanted Dr. Larimer to be present at our research experiment today. That is, if you have no objection. No. Why should I? Fine. Excuse me. Well, Jane, here we go again. <laughs> okay. Got a nice sharp one for you this time. Now, Jane. Start counting backwards. From 20, I know. That's right. 20, 19, 18, 17. I've never known a subject under Pentathol to lie. Nor have I. Why the lie detectors? We'll see later. What is your name? Joyce Hatton. Joyce Hatton Webster. Then you are married? I was. I was Mrs. Paul Webster. That is... Yes? I'm not sure whether I am married or ever really was married. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Would you tell us about it, Joyce? Everything about it? Everything. That's right, Joyce. From the beginning. I met Paul overseas. He was a lieutenant. I was nursing in a hospital. We made plans to be married after we were both discharged. No, no, come on now, just relax. Count backwards from five. Four, three, two, eight. Good, good. Oh, hey there. Shh. Now, Lefty has to do this anytime he has his nails worked on. Oh, yeah, he was carving out his pumpkin here, see? It kept getting caught on the sides there. And it all comes back to it. There was a little incident down in Palm Beach. You know, yeah, he ran into this crazed manicure. She cut him to the quick, almost polished him off, poor little guy. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, but he's getting better now. Right, Left? Yeah, he can't get buffed unless he's under hypnosis. Okay, pal, snap yourself out of it, huh? <laughs> hey, pretty good there. Yeah, this manicure, see, she was a favorite of Jackie Kennedy. See, the reason I think of that, see, is Jackie Kennedy. She loved this movie, The Alligator People that were watching. Oh, yeah, one of her favorites. You'll see why in this next part. Yeah, check out the hat that Joyce is wearing. It's, well, kind of an early version of the pillbox. Oh, yeah, the same kind that made Jackie famous. Hey, Lefty, maybe you look good in one of those, eh? <laughs> okay, we'll be back right after this. It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. Honey, this is just like the PC I have at the office. Oh. 
the PC compatible Tandy 1000, just $9.99 with a Christmas bonus color monitor. Save $300. So, as soon as I finish our budget, sweetheart. Budget? It comes with its own software. My report's due tomorrow, Dad. And has plenty of home uses. Don't stay too late at the office, dear. <laughs> the Tandy 1000 with Color Monitor Christmas Bonus, only at Radio Shack. Hi, I'm Ellen Polaner. Since 1896, my husband's family has been using the finest natural ingredients to make Polaner's delicious jams and jellies. Now I want to introduce Polaner's ready-to-use chopped garlic. This jar contains approximately 50 cloves of real garlic already chopped, so I don't have to take the time to peel, chop, clean up, or wash my hands. All I do is open this wide mouth jar of Polaner garlic and spoon it out whenever the recipe calls for garlic. There's no oil, no salt, no preservatives. In fact, Polaner garlic tastes so fresh that supermarkets across America are putting it right in the fresh produce department. Simply write to this address and Polaner will send you $3 worth of coupons toward this and other Polaner products, plus a free garlic recipe booklet. Once you try Polaner's garlic, you'll never want to peel or chop garlic again. At Polaner, our delicious food products grow on a family tree. Oh, hey, pretty exciting, that left you. <laughs> well, I'm having a great... Oh! Whoa, wait a minute, what's this? Whoa! What's that? Is that for me? Oh, thank you very much, dear pal. Holy cats! Oh, did you get a load of that guy? Le hey, look at this! Hey, that looks just like the commander, doesn't he, Lefty? Holy cats, yeah, that's a good... Whoa, what's the matter, boy? What? Not what? Oh, the dog? Yeah, let me... Where? Hey, look at this. Yeah, he's even got a little lefty on it. Oh, he's got pins left in it. Hey, must have been in a hurry to get this over to us, huh? Hey. Oh, hey, you feel better? Holy cats, look at this. He's got big pins up here, too. Ah, yeah, well, I guess we should just leave them in there, huh? Ah, well, here. Ah, yeah, let's get back to the movie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he an expert, Paul? Well, he gets lots of practice. After all, we aren't the uh, first newlyweds on his train, Mrs. Webster. <laughs> Call me that again. Mrs. Webster. Mm, that sounds so wonderful. You know, I was beginning to doubt whether I was ever going to get to hear that. You just try and get away now. Will there be anything else, sir? Oh, no, no, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night. I love you so much. Why did we have to wait so long? Well, I, uh... I wrote you after I cracked up my plane. And scared me half out of my wits. You wouldn't believe what that hospital doctor told me when I called. Oh, what do you mean? Well, according to him, you were more dead than alive. Almost every bone broken, completely torn, mangled, smashed. And you don't think it was true? Well, now, how could I? Look at you. You haven't got a mark. You haven't got a scar. You're much more handsome than ever. Do you know that nobody would believe you were even in a plane crash? But it was true, though, Joyce. But all right, I should be dead. You don't mean that. No, Joyce. You have a right to know. I, I should have told you before we were married. Told me what? How it was. Really? Why I made us wait so long? You see, honey... Who is it? It's me again. I have some more wine. And nobody was supposed to know we were even on this train. Mm. Come in. Here you are, miss. Thank you. Here, you open it. All right. <laughs> you folks certainly must be popular. Especially with the telegraph company. <laughs> oh. Something wrong? 
Huh? <laughs> From the girls at the hospital where I worked. You know, there's such a thing as being too well informed. May I? You may not. <laughs> Those devils. Oh, very nice. An old buddy of mine. <laughs> I didn't know we had so many friends. Me either. Let's see. Yeah, 33 minutes. No, no it's 35 minutes. We're two minutes behind time. Not until then. Well, actually, there's a mail pickup stop just up ahead. That's why we're slowing down. But is there a phone? Yes, yeah. We only stop for a half a minute. No time for anyone to leave the train. Just so there's a phone. Paul, oh, what's wrong? Please, honey, tell me what's so important. to be the happiest moment of my life, my wedding. And I just seen my husband's face for the last time. What did you do then, Joyce? I was frantic. I got off at the next stop. I went back to that platform. But there was no sign of Paul. Nothing. No one had placed a call. No one had seen him. He'd just vanished. And then what happened? You wouldn't believe it was possible, would you? A man you thought you knew so well. Had married, even. Could just... disappear. Completely. Even after talking to all the people who knew him. Finding nothing at his last address told the police. Hired private detectives. Check with the army. The only address they had was a apartment hotel. What about where he was born? His family? The army records said Georgia. Paul had never mentioned his family. I never thought to ask him. I loved him. That's all it seemed to matter. Still, you did find something. Once later, going through Paul's things as I had a hundred times, his fraternity pin. And how did that help? I checked with the headquarters, wrote them, they told me that Paul had belonged to their chapter at Louisiana State University. So, I went there. They let me look at the records. I found an address Paul had given them when he enrolled in college. And where was that? Bayou Landing. 
A whistle stop in the middle of the Louisiana swamp country. I was the only passenger to get off. Strangely, there wasn't another soul to be seen. The only evidence of life was a deserted day coach on the siding. Looking as alone and out of place as I felt. Somebody meeting you here, sweetheart? No. I thought... That is, I hope somebody would come to pick up this. Well, that's me. You just didn't get off. You must have had some good reason. Do you know a place? I think it's a plantation called the Cypresses. Uh-huh. Would it be too much trouble to take me there? I'd gladly pay you. They don't never have no visitors. Was they expecting you? No, not exactly. But they will know who I am. Well, for you, sweetheart, I'll take a chance. Go ahead, just climb in. Go on, climb in. You know better than to ever take a ride from a stranger, don't you? Whoa, hey, Yak! Who's... Holy cats, who is... Oh, a telegram, huh? Yeah, thanks a lot, pal. I don't have any change. Help yourself to a prune there, if you like. Yeah, happy Halloween. Hey, look at this. A telegram. Holy cow, let's see who it's from. Holy cow! Hey, this is great! It's from Count Phantom of Pennsylvania. Yeah, he's gonna be dropping by in a little while. Hey, he says he's got a great surprise for us. I yeah, hope he's not gonna put the bite on me again. <laughs> now, nah, that's just a little vampire joke, sure. Hey. Hey, listen, I'll be back in a minute, okay? Things sweetened with 100% NutraSweet display the 100% NutraSweet symbol. A little red swirl next to the words NutraSweet brand sweetener. The 100% symbol means low calorie without saccharin and great taste without any sugar added. 100% NutraSweet. Why some things taste better than others. Drinking and driving is the major cause of highway crashes because people don't know enough about what they drink. They don't know that 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, and 1 and a quarter ounces of liquor, all typical servings, have the same alcohol content. These facts are so important, they've been made part of the driver's manuals of 24 states so far. These states realize that drivers have to know these facts before they drink and drive. Here's to the great American you, and you and you, and especially you, the kidneys you choose. From dress boots to shoes, let you be who you want to be. Please don't eat them all. Because if you eat all the morsels, your cookies will be bald. Nestle don't have morsels. So chuck the tea and rich. But save them for the cookies. Or your cookies will look like this. Please don't eat all the morsels. You'll just have to wait. Because it's Nestle Toll House morsels, which makes the cookies taste so great. If you need life insurance protection, a good chunk of it, but you don't want to keep paying for it forever, look into QuickPay, the different kind of life insurance from Transamerica. 
With QuickPay, you decide the number of years you want to pay for your coverage. Three, five, seven, that's it. You're paid up for life. You're protected for life. Let me show you. Say you're like me, 40, don't smoke, and you need $100,000 of protection. And you want your payments to end in five years. Look, you pay $1,569 a year, a total of $7,845 in premiums, not a cent more. You have $100,000 in protection from the word go. All along the way, your Transamerica quick pay policy builds tax deferred cash value at high current interest rates. And you don't pay even one premium after the first five years. Quick pay from Transamerica. Find out about it. Quick. For complete details about quick pay, call 800-228-6260, toll free. That's 800-228-6260. Call now. Jambalaya crawfish pie. Oh, hey, there you are. Hey, can you tell what I'm doing here? Making up something special, boy. Yeah, this is great. Call it jambalaya filet gumbo. Oh, yeah, it's got everything in it. See, put in a little flour and heat it up and... Heck, you can use just about anything. Yeah, vegetables that you have lying around the house. Important thing to start with, little fish stock. Or heck, you can use some Gatorade. Sure, natural and artificial Gator flavoring comes out great. Yeah, whatever you got. Now, this is important here. You want to take some catfish juice, right? Yeah, just give them a good squeeze. Yeah, get that out. It's a nice, delicate flavoring to the whole thing. Yeah, whatever you got, heck. All kinds of good things taste good in there. Hey, a tofu winky, what could be better? This is gonna be a delicious piece. Now, the most important thing here, right at the end, you want to get a nice big crayfish, you know? And get it right in there, boy. Yeah, it's really delicious. Whoa, oh, 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 oh! Hey, whoa, what's the map? Holy cats, Lefty! Yeah, he's wearing a big crayfish costume. Yeah, it's a kind of dangerous thing to do when we're making jambalaya here, pal. Yeah, you better what? Whoa! Yeah. Let's get back to the alligator people, huh? Yeah, I'll let this cook a while. You never seen nothing like that before. You ever been in the Bayou country before? So wild, so primitive. Yeah, and deadly. <laughs> you know how long you'd last if you got a hundred yards off of this road? <laughs> Maybe ten minutes. If the quicksand didn't get you, the moccasins would. Then there's always the gators. Dirty, nasty, slimy things.
<laughs> Why did you have to do that? He wasn't doing you any harm. Oh? Well, how do you suppose I got this? Anyway, baby, we didn't do him no harm. I beg your pardon. I just arrived on the train. Train was hours ago. I know. Were you expected? I did write, but my letter came back unopened, so I decided... What is it, Toby? This young person, ma'am, she just arrived, and... Have her come in. Yes, what is it? This is your place. Of course. Well, maybe you can help me. You see, for a long time, I've been looking for my husband. He disappeared the night we were married. I've searched everywhere. I've tried everything. And this is my last hope. Well, why should you come here? At the university, I checked the records. And at one time, he gave this as his address. The Cypresses. What is your name, my dear? Mrs. Paul. Webster. And you say that your husband, this, this Paul Webster, gave this as his address? According to the records. Whoever you are, I don't know what your game is coming here making up fantastic stories. Well, it's the truth. I can prove it. You can ask anyone. Why should I ask anyone or care one way or the other? Of what possible interest could your sordid little lie be to me? I was hoping your name was Webster. I am Mrs. Henry Hawthorne. And your husband? I'm a widow. I'm sorry to bother you, Mrs. Hawthorne. But I had to know. Perhaps you are telling the truth. It really doesn't matter. However, I must ask you to leave at once. Toby, get a hold of Manon. Have him drive her back to the station. But, ma'am. What is it, Toby? There won't be a train till tomorrow. Oh, you're right. Of course. May we offer you the hospitality of the Cypresses for the night? I don't seem to have any choice, do I? Luann. Yes, ma'am. Show Mrs. Uh, what was your name again? Mrs. Paul Webster. Show Mrs. Webster to the guest room. Yes, ma'am. Anything you need to be comfortable, just ask, Luann. Thank you. One minute, Mrs. Webster. While you're our guest for the night only, I must insist on one thing. Yes? Under no circumstances will you leave your room. As I said before, I don't seem to have any choice, do I? I knew it. I knew she was going to stay overnight there. Do you believe it? Happens in every one of these kind of things. Ah, uh, heck, I wouldn't stay there, heck, even if they were only charging a couple bucks a night. Now, nah, it's that kind of place. Guarantee something bad is going to happen here. Yeah, they're going to lose their luggage or something even worse, boy. Well, holy cats, hey, like Lon Chaney said, if the quicksand don't get you out of moccasin and will. Whoa! Ah! 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 Whoa! Jeez. Ugh. Hey, must have been a water moccasin. Whoa! 
Oh, salt water. <laughs> I'll be back right after this. Shortcuts from General Foods, a series of creative ideas for people with active lifestyles. People like Sally Carter, assistant loan officer, whose shortcut is a hot salad. When I cook vegetables, I like to make sure that most of the nutrients stay inside the food. That's why I stir fry a lot and use a wok. This kind of cooking calls for high temperatures and short cooking times, which helps to preserve vitamins. But if you don't have a wok, just use a skillet. I make a great hot salad this way, and I'll be right back to show you how. You don't need to live on a farm to know what farm fresh means. Just look how crisp this broccoli is. Snow white cauliflower and carrots as sweet as can be. It's vegetables like these that go into my farm fresh mixtures. All picked at the peak of freshness and frozen with no preservatives, not even salt. That's why they taste farm fresh. They'd better because some of the folks I serve them to really know their vegetables. Or mixtures that taste farm fresh come to bird's eye. Begin the hot salad by sauteing a clove of garlic in about two tablespoons of oil. You want the heat fairly high so that the vegetables cook fast. Mmm, that garlic smells good. Then add the vegetables. Equal amounts of snow pea pods, button mushrooms, and red peppers make a terrific combination. Colorful, too. Then stir frequently. After a few minutes, I flavor it with soy sauce, chopped scallions, and fresh ginger. And it's ready to eat. Remember, the shorter the cooking time, the more nutrients. Oh, this hot salad looks great. In fact, may never make it to the table. This has been another shortcut for good eating for active people from General Foods. Holy cats, yeah, what an exciting night, huh? Halloween, <laughs> scary urn, sca Hey! <gasps> Oh, it's the commander. Oh, Toto, where are you going? Hey, trick-or-treater. Hey, that's a swell-looking costume you got there. This isn't a costume. I'm Dorothy. And I want to go back to Kansas. There's a wicked witch after me. Kansas? No, I don't think I could help you right now. See, I'm right in the Sick middle of this. Toto! Oh, we... ah! oh, hey, calm down there, little girl. Oh, you look like you're... Hey, maybe I can't help you out here. Wait, let me make an adjustment on the telepsychotronic screen, huh? Hey, Kansas, that's in the central time zone, isn't it? I think so. Okay, yeah, I think most of it is anyway. Okay, now, be careful here. What you got to do is, uh, well, click your heels three times and then say, uh, say there's no place like home, okay? And then touch the red button. There's no place like home. Good luck. <laughs> Holy! Holy cats, hey! You never know what's gonna happen when you touch that red button, huh? Ah, boy, Dorothy. Ah, I'm glad I could help her out, you know? Whoa, hey! Oh! Hey, Holy, where's that Dorothy? Holy cats, who are you? What a... Commander, you USA! Where's Dorothy? Oh, you mean that little girl? I think she ought to be about 2,000 feet over Chicago right the now. Mama? Yeah, she was going out to camp. Oh, sure, Commander, what? USA! And your little friend, Jesse! Whoa, hey, calm down, her man! Have a donut here. Have a little something to eat. Yeah, you gotta calm down. It is Halloween, you know? Time for celebrations here. You can't be so What's angry. in this donut? Oh, that's a new kind there. Kelp donuts. Yes! Yes! I <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll mop that up later. Heck, we better get back to the alligator people, eh? Sure. There was something sinister about the cypresses. As night darkened the house, all the doubts and fears which had haunted the long, lonely miles of my search returned. What secret was Mrs. Hawthorne hiding in this strange, unfriendly house? Why had she told me not to leave my room? the drunken fool. Tell him to stop that shooting. But ma'am... Doesn't he realize the girl's still here? I'll try, ma'am.
stinking, slimy gators. You bit my hand off, didn't you? The hell? I'm gonna spend the rest of my life killing gators. The rest of my life. Sure. <laughs> Uh, you better stop it. Huh? Mrs. Hawthorne says stop. She says she don't want you shooting at gators around here with that girl here. That's the one you brought. I ain't never gonna stop shooting gators. <laughs> they bit my hand off, didn't they? I ain't never gonna stop shooting gators. No, not never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure, I know just how you feel. I don't like him either. But not tonight. Come on, huh? Oh, yeah. oh. Do all the guests get room service? I I only do what Miss Hawthorne tell me, ma'am. Now, will there be anything else? Luann, those gunshots, what were they all about? I don't know, ma'am. I must go now. Luann, wait, wait, please. Somebody has to help me. How, ma'am? Is it true, everything she told me? Have I come to the wrong place? I can't. I wouldn't like to say anything, ma'am. Well, can't you tell me anything? I can tell you this. This is a trouble house. Real deep, big trouble. Like the old conjure woman in Big Bio say, Miss Hawthorne, she deal with the evil one. She got big sorrow. Just like you get if you stay here. Go, child. Please go. This is a trouble house. Real deep, big trouble. Yes? Oh, thank goodness you're back, Mark. Anything wrong, Vinnie? She's here, Mark. Paul's wife. How did she find us? School records. It was like being struck by lightning. We've got to decide what we're going to do about her. You wait there for me. I'll be right over. Devil, you didn't have to hit him. Quicker, simplest way, Doctor. But these are people. You don't handle them like animals. How did it happen? Only thing I can figure out, someone forgot to wet him down on time. When he comes to, give him additional hydrospray therapy. Yes, sir. We 
just had an emergency with number six. Is he all right now? He's quiet, yes. But the girl, what are we going to do about her? So she found his school records. The one thing we hadn't thought of. Oh, such bad luck. Not entirely. I think we both knew she was bound to find out eventually. It's just unfortunate it happened to be so soon. But we need time. So much time. If she should tell anyone, the police, it would spoil our last chance. Do we have a chance? I don't really know. I feel so helpless, Vinnie. We know so little. So little. What about the cobalt treatment? I said reaction to X-ray was encouraging. Massive radiation from cobalt-60 might be even more effective. Well, you have the cobalt bomb. It arrived today. But don't you see, Vinnie? Before I can take the chance with a human being, there must be months of tests, hundreds of animal experiments. We took a chance once before, Vinnie. No one knows better than you the tragic result. I have confidence in you, Mark. Every confidence. You all have time, all the time you need. The girl will leave on the morning train. I'll be over before that to talk to her. I'm as anxious as you are to have her go. But we must make absolutely sure that she doesn't know anything. Okay, straight in there, Wolf. Ah, take it easy, Angelina. No, no, this is hydrotherapy. It's good for Albert. Sure. Yeah, you don't want him to grow up to be a suitcase, do you? Yeah, go yeah, I'll be back right after this. Sure. Hello, Mother. Daddy, you too. Love my classes. Here at State U. Just one problem. It's my laundry. Miss that nice fresh smell. Hey, Mom, I'm in a quandary. You, Miss Downey, that'll do it. April freshness, rinses through it. Deep down softness, it goes all through. Downy freshness makes a difference, love, we miss you. Now there's a new Downy. Best Downy yet, April fresher than ever. With a no messed cap, the others don't have. Pours easier, measures easier. And what's left goes back in. No messy bottles. New cap, more April freshness. Best Downy yet. Has the power of protein. The power to clean many tough stains. It's the power of Era Plus, the quarter cup laundry detergent with stain cleansing proteins. And while nothing gets out every stain, Era Plus has the power to clean many of the toughest. Era Plus, stains come clean with the power of protein. my first day at a great new job. You know where I found it? Here, in the National Business Employment Weekly. Every issue tells you about the best jobs available, managerial, professional, technical, at top companies across the country. Top salaries from $25,000 a year to a quarter million. Every issue has articles to help you land the job that's right for you, writing a better resume, coming across strong in interviews, marketing yourself. Then when you get the job you want, Articles that help you manage your career, like setting career goals, salary statistics, how to ask for a raise and get it. The National Business Employment Weekly helps you get a great job, helps you do a great job. Don't make a career move without it. Ask for the National Business Employment Weekly at your newsstand, or if you prefer, get the next eight issues by first class mail for $32. Call toll free 800-255-5000. Eight weekly issues, $32. Call 800-255-5000 now. Count, Count Phantom of Pennsylvania? That's your it, boy. Hey, I'm glad to 
see you. Boy, I know it's Halloween now, huh? Hey, where's Lefty? He's been looking for you lately. I don't know. No! Hey, what? Ah, uh, Lefty, what's the idea? What do you think you're doing? No, you can't dress up as a string of garlic. Not when the Count's here. Hey, Count, come on out, pal. Oh, no, hey, I'm sorry. No, Lefty was... Oh, I don't know. He's trying to think of a costume or something. Oh, are you sure? I'm sure, boy. Everything is cool here now. Hey, it's good to see you, Count. Good to see you. I'm glad I got your telegram. You said you had a special reason for coming. So true. Yeah? I'm soliciting donations. Yeah? For what? A blood bank. A bl well, heck, I could give hey. you a few bucks for blood money. Sure. Thank you, but no. I prefer to make my own withdrawal. No! Somehow I seemed drawn to the music, a theme that I had heard before, somewhere. Who else? This man who had been playing. And why would he run away into the swamp when he saw me? Muddy footprints. Yet there'd been no rain. And the piano keys, still wet from his fingers. What's she doing here? I don't know. She came on the train today. No notice, no warning. And you would let her stay? What could I do? I couldn't turn her out in the swamp. Do you think I wanted her here? There's no train until tomorrow. How'd you find out? She was in the hall. Downstairs? I locked her in her room. She's got to leave on that morning train tomorrow. I'm Dr. Sinclair, uh, Mark Sinclair. I'm sort of the swamp doctor. Uh, that's my swamp buggy. I need to get around. I see. You must keep busy, doctor. Well, why do you say that? I mean, in an unhealthy environment like this. Oh, you mean the swamp. <laughs> well, actually, if it were, as you say, unhealthy, 
None of us will be here. Why? Well, a few million years ago, most of the land of the Earth must have looked just about like this. One great, vast swamp. It was the cradle of life, where we all started. In the slime and ooze, the bottom of a swamp. You're completely cynical, aren't you, Doctor? <laughs> I imagine that did sound a bit depressing. I didn't mean it to. I'm sorry. Oh, is Mrs. Hawthorne inside? Well, she hasn't come down yet. Has she been ill, Doctor? Well, not exactly. Vinnie, Mrs. Hawthorne, has a few emotional problems. I like to look in from time to time. Well, maybe that explains it. Explains what? Why she locked me in my room last night. I don't understand. I took you for a guest of Vinnie's. I suppose I am, in a way. I'm Mrs. Webster. Mrs. Paul Webster. That name doesn't mean anything to you? No. Should it? I don't know. Let me explain, Doctor. Since my husband disappeared, I've done nothing but search for him. And I'm going to keep on asking questions. What brings you here? An old address. The Cypresses. That I found in Paul's college records. You came way down here. Traveled hundreds of miles. Are nothing more tangible than that. I'd travel much farther, on even less. I find that difficult to believe. You must have found other evidence. Why? Unless there is other evidence. Is that what you mean? Of course not. I was only trying to you say You did that... know Paul, didn't you, Doctor? I can tell. What is it, Doctor? Why won't any of you tell me about him? What are you all trying to hide? My dear young lady, you're obviously overwrought. Well, that's understandable in the circumstances. I wish I could help. Will you tell Mrs. Hawthorne I couldn't wait? But I will drop back later. Thank you. Now, go ahead, Val. Now, you can finish. You. Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah, how'd you like that car boat, huh? Yeah, those are something. They can go through anything. Yeah. Motorized or four-footed, I love amphibians, boy. Yeah, like that Dr. Sinclair says, yeah, it all started in the slime and the ooze. Yeah, right, Left. Whoa. And yeah, we'll be back right after this. Whoa. <laughs> At Fruit Corners, the whole world is our orchard. And wherever the fruit grows bigger and better, you'll find us. Even if it means sailing to the Philippines for the sweet tropical mango, or trekking 11,000 miles into the jungles of Brazil to find the perfect passion fruit. Fruit Corners Fruit Bars and Fruit Roll-Ups. If it comes from Fruit Corners, it's made with real fruit. The worst stock market crash in history rocked the nation yesterday as stock prices collapsed. On October 24th, 1929, the news that shocked the world didn't surprise everyone. Two months earlier, Business Week readers were warned about stock prices that seemed unsteady. Business Week was then only a few weeks old. Today, the look of the magazine has changed, but not its significance. It was Business Week that told its readers about the takeover epidemic in the steel industry. And before the computer war broke out, Business Week readers not only knew it was coming, but who would come out on top. Week after week after week, Business Week tells you exactly what's going on in business and how it could affect your business. It's all right here, in the most concise, accessible form possible. But this publication does more than report the news. Business Week interprets, even anticipates, and that's important. Because in business, nobody likes to be taken by surprise. Business Week magazine revealed this... Business has never looked better in Business Week. And if you subscribe right now, you can take advantage of a very attractive offer. 32 issues for the low basic rate of only $24.95. That's just 78 cents an issue. A savings of more than 60% off the $2 cover price. And along with your paid subscription, Business Week will send you one more valuable business tool. The Business Week Solar Calculator, free. This desktop calculator is powered by any light source. There are no batteries required, nothing to plug in. And remember, it's free with your paid subscription to Business Week. Here's how to subscribe. To get Business Week and the Solar Calculator, call 1-800-453-1212. 32 issues are only $24.95.
This low basic rate saves you more than $39 off the cover price. The calculator is free with your paid subscription. That number again is 1-800-453-1212. Call now. Whoa, hey, pretty exciting, huh? Yeah, I got something exciting right here, too. Yeah, I call it my new groovy scale away. All right, it's going to be one... Yeah, come on in. Whoa! Holy cat, will you look at this? Hey, you look like some trick-or-treater there, pal. Here, have a kelp donut. Mmm, good and good for you. Hey, you don't have to worry about it either, because if you get any blemishes or anything, I got this stuff that'll take care of it. Hey, how would you like to give it a little test for me, huh? No, this is great. It's called Groovy Scale Away. Let me just try, yeah, just try a little test pack up here on the side, huh? Whoa. Gonna let that dry, then we'll chisel it off, huh? Hey, you wanna stick around for the party? Sure, you look like a fun kind of guy. Hey, let's get back to the alligator people, huh? Yeah, it is gonna work great here. Whoa! Extremely careful. It generates 3,000 Curie units of gamma ray energy. This is the equivalent of six million electron volts of X-ray. A few seconds of direct exposure would be fatal. Stand by for lowering position. She didn't leave? Well, Toby, he brought the car train time, but Miss Webster, she wouldn't go. Well, where is she? Well, I believe she in there. What are you doing? Looking for answers. Answers? You abused my hospitality. You were to stay in your room. You left it. You promised to leave on the train. I made no promise. I was told. I'm not leaving here, Mrs. Hawthorne, until I get the answers to the questions that brought me here. I told you yesterday you were mistaken. I think you're lying. You can't talk to me like that. I can say a lot worse. You had Dr. Sinclair come and talk to me today, didn't you? Why? To find out how much I knew? I know nothing about that. And another thing. Who was playing the piano in here last night? In the dark? Someone who left wet footprints in the carpet? Oh, you're imagining things. No, I'm not. Any more than I'm imagining you want to get rid of me. That you've got something to hide. Hide? Oh, what could I possibly have to hide? What have you done with my husband? I still don't know what you're talking about. You did a good job, Mrs. Hawthorne. Wiping out every trace of Paul in his own home. And you almost got away with it. Got away with it? Got away with what? Whatever terrible thing you've done with Paul. Done to him? Me? Oh, my God, that's funny. That really is funny. I'd be the last one ever to hurt Paul. I'm his mother. His mother? Has she gone? 
Oh, Pa, she hasn't. Pa, what is it? I don't like spiders and snakes. Wow! Oh! Hey, sorry there, Angelina. Thought I hurt you. Hey, nothing like walking barefoot through the swamps, huh? Yeah, I can't think of much that's more bucolic. Looks like Lon's taking Joyce to his place for a little Gatorade, huh? Hope she doesn't get hooked. Hey, we'll be back right after this. Hey, all right? This is the sound that earned them 16 gold records. I see the moon rising. I see trouble on the way. Doug Clifford, Stu Cook, Tom Fogarty, and John Fogarty. Credence, Clearwater Revival. collection of all their hits on three LPs or two cassettes. 737 coming out of the sky. Oh, won't you take me down to Memphis on a midnight ride? I won't move. Hey, it ain't a traveling pain. Yeah, down on the corner, out in the street. Man, the boat boys are playing. Bring a nip of happy feet. Collection. Cretan's Clearwater Revival's greatest hits on three LPs or two cassettes, just $14.95. Here's how to order. Credit card customers call toll-free 800-824-1300. That's 800-824-1300. And save COD fees by sending $14.95 plus $1.50 for postage and handling to CCR. 
P.O. Box 7000-78, Palm Springs, California. That's CCR Box 7000-78, Palm Springs, California. Please specify records, 8-tracks, or cassette tapes. In an hour or two, these streets will be teeming with people, all going after the same thing, the American dream of success. But while there are millions of men and women chasing the American dream, there's only so much of it to go around, which is why you should subscribe to the Wall Street Journal. Each business day, the journal gives you a real competitive advantage with comprehensive news coverage, analysis, ideas you can put to excellent use in your work and business information you won't find anywhere else. Of course, you don't have to subscribe to the journal, but in a very short time, these streets will be filled with people who do. Call 800-527-9800 for this new journal offer. 13 weeks for just $28 with a money-back guarantee. 13 weeks, $28. Phone 800-527-9800 now for the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, just in time. Yeah, I'm mixing up a little swamp water julep here. Oh, it's easy, sure. First thing you want to do is get some fresh swamp water, you know, and then strain it. Make sure you get rid of the moccasins or any other excess animal matter here. Then you get that swamp water bubbling, you add a little fresh moss. Now try to get that from the north side of the tree. And then an special, a very special ingredient here is alligator toenail. Oh yeah, just clip them right off. Heck, if you can't get fresh canned, it's fine, all right? Now you let that stir around a little bit, give it a sip, a little garnish on the glass, and voila, boy, hey, you got a drink worth going home for. Hey, let's get back to the alligator people, huh? Now you sit down. You sit down. That's it. What you need to drink. Me too. I don't understand why you brought me here. Well, I just naturally figured you'd appreciate me saving you from that snake. I do. <laughs> here, have a drink. I don't think I want it. Go on, baby. It'll do you good. <coughs> That's it. Made it myself. Hey, you're cold. You ought to get them wet things off. Hey, go ahead. Well, come on. Get them off. I'll be all right. Thanks. Baby. Here. You get up. We'll wrap this around you so you won't catch cold. Now come on, get up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. What? What's the matter, baby? Huh? Didn't I save your life? Don't you feel like you owe me something? Why, sure, you do. You be nice to me. Maybe I'll tell you some things about this place. Don't do that. Don't never do that.
wasn't dead. Manning, he was drunk. We should have fired him before. Toby, carry her upstairs. Luann, try and take care of her. Yes, ma'am. We can't keep her in the dark any longer, Paul. I can't do anything. She could have been killed tonight. Is that what you want? I love her mother. Well, that's why she has to know. Are you going to tell her? I couldn't. I'll phone Dr. Sinclair. He'll know what to say. Why didn't he just let me die? It'll work out somehow, Paul. There has to be an answer. There just has to be. Understand it came. The Cobalt 60 arrived yesterday. When do we try it? Well, not for months. I explained to your mother. Combined with the X ray generator, the bomb will approach the power of a pepperton, a billion electron volts. So, without extensive experimentation. But there's no time for that. I want it now. You don't think I'd take the risk after the tragedy I've caused already? But you're causing a worse one to my wife. You said yourself the X-ray was definitely helping. Like positive indications, yes. Then combining X-ray with gamma radiation from the cobalt might cure me completely. And it might kill you. Oh, who knows? I just can't do it, Paul. It's too great a risk. We wouldn't be alive at all, any of us, except for you. We'd probably be better off dead, but you can't turn me down. You owe me this chance, whatever chance there is. For my wife's sake, I want it now. Oh. Not tonight. I'll need at least a day to test it on live alligators, to establish some sort of control standards. You just got to understand, Paul. I haven't the slightest idea of what will happen. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Paul, your mother phoned about your wife. You should have told her, Paul. I couldn't. The thought of Joyce ever seeing me like this, I just couldn't. I've agreed to talk to Joyce in the morning. But... She's going to know everything. Hey, I don't know about you, but I think Paul ought to go for a second opinion, huh? What do you think, Lip? Oh, hey, I like that costume. Hey, look, you finished... Holy cow, hey, yeah, he's finished his jack-o'-lantern here. Yeah, take a look at this. No, I think it's terrific, pal. Holy cats. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Hey, we'll be back right after this, okay? Okay. Pizza crumbs on the floor in the kitchen? Quick! Get them with a the quick up! Cookie crumbs on the floor in the bedroom? Quick! Get them with a the quick up! Potato chips on the floor in the living room? You know what to use? The Eureka Quick Up Vacuum Cleaner. It's cordless, rechargeable, and mounts on the wall. There's no quicker way to get a mess. The Eureka Quick Up. It's cordless. my face. I'm going to take off all this makeup with something you've never seen before. You take off? Velvety Claws moisture touch with special ingredients that remove makeup. Take off? Yet caress your skin gently. Mmm, like a real face saver. There's nothing like it. Just stroke and take off lifts away makeup thoroughly. Gently. New take off? Even tough mascara. So tonight, try new take off makeup you remover take claws off. and discover your face saver. 
Drinking and driving is the major cause of highway crashes because people don't know enough about what they drink. They don't know that 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, and 1 and a quarter ounces of liquor, all typical servings, have the same alcohol content. These facts are so important, they've been made part of the driver's manuals of 24 states so far. These states realize that drivers have to know these facts before they drink and drive. That's your drag, come on. Holy cats, hey, look who's here, Tinker holy cow, look at this. Hey, it's turning into a party now, boy, yeah, have a little something. Whoa, hey, we'll get back to the alligator, people. Hey, but you can see we're gonna be having a good time. Hey, Pinky, good to see you, boy. I hope you'll excuse me, Mrs. Webster, keeping you waiting. This experiment was urgent, the most urgent of my life. So you're a trained nurse, Mrs. Webster? Yes, yes, that's right. Good. Then you know something of the life processes of the higher and lower orders. In species like ourselves, with a highly developed nervous system, bodily functions are controlled principally by the brain and the nerves. But in creatures with a less complex nervous development, life processes are governed by chemical substances, secreted by ductless glands and carried in the bloodstream. Like hormones. Being a doctor, I was tremendously impressed by the healing power of just one hormone, hydrocortisone. And it occurred to me how much more potent this hormone would be in a creature with a simpler nervous system, one that depended on that hormone to live. For example, there are some small lizards that when attacked, detach their tails completely. Yet in a very short time, well, this little fellow was well on his way to growing a new one. There are even one or two species that can replace an entire limb if they've lost one. Here's something intriguing. Two similar muscular charts. You might take them for the same animal. But as you know, this is a man, this is an alligator. This is all very interesting, Doctor, but you were going to tell me about Paul. Everything I've said concerns Paul. I knew I'd found my life's work. I wanted to extract this wonderful reptilian substance and use it to cure human injuries. Mrs. Hawthorne, she was still Mrs. Webster then. She remarried after Paul's father died. Mrs. Hawthorne financed my researches and set up this clinic. Well, did you succeed? I isolated a protein chemical from the anterior pituitary glands of crocodilians. A common variety is the alligator. Alligator? I injected this substance into the veins of volunteers. Horribly injured, hopelessly mangled accident victims on the point of death. It was miraculous, Mrs. Webster. Not only did those dying men and women live, but in an incredibly short time, they were completely whole. Mangled limbs as good as new. As if they'd never been injured. And Paul was one of these? The worst of the lot. There was scarcely a bone in his body that wasn't broken. Face completely gone. Horribly burned. Nobody would even know you were in a plane crash. That's what I said to Paul the night we were married. Can you imagine my feelings? I thought I'd stumbled on the medical miracle of the ages. It certainly seems so. Then, over a year later... Doctor, can you come right away? It's number six again. Excuse me. I'll be back soon. Maybe you'd better come along, too. Who are these? My prize patients. My medical miracles. Well, then these symptoms are... The after effects. They began to appear in varying degrees about a year after the treatment. Is there any hope for... for the people? There may be a possible chance, but a slight one. Shot in the dark and very dangerous. Your husband insists upon taking that chance tonight. 
What is it? Massive radiation. Gamma rays from a cobalt bomb combined with high-intensity X-ray. We've already noted in Paul definite positive reactions to X-ray treatment. But what will happen with this, I don't know. I want to be here. I don't think that's wise. Isn't it? I want to be here. I want to see Paul. I want to talk to him before... You can't keep me away, Doctor. No, I guess I can't. Maybe I haven't even got the right. Whoa, hey! Pretty exciting, huh? You know, I've always been kind of interested in the regeneration of body parts myself. Oh, yeah! I've been working on my new serum. I think I've got it perfected. Yeah, I was waiting for Lefty to come around and say, Whoa, hey, Lefty! Holy cats, another cast. Hey, you know? Looks like that, uh, you know, that let him eat cake woman. Yeah, who? Marie left Toinette. Well, no, that's not. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute, sure. No, it's not. It looks all right. I'm... Here comes Solid Gold. Solid Gold Party Rock. 52 certified number one original hits by the stars who made them great. Or five cassettes, your choice, only nineteen ninety-five. Oh, blueberry hill. This diamond ring doesn't shine for me anymore. Can the city hill I come? Give me a ticket for an aeroplane. To Rock. Remember, these are the original hits on five stereo LPs, five eight tracks, or five cassettes. Your choice only nineteen ninety five. Only here, only now. To order, use your Mastercard or Visa. Call toll free one 824 seventy eight hundred. That's one 824 seventy eight hundred. Or save COD and handling charges by setting check or money order for nineteen ninety five to Party Rock, PO Box seven thousand seventy eight, Palm Springs, California. Please specify records, eight tracks, or cassette tapes. <laughs> Well, somebody's happy to be going to work. I love my job. <laughs> I wish I could say that. Bob. I know. Look for a better job in the, the National, National Business, Business Employment, Employment Weekly. Weekly. See? The best jobs available everywhere in the country. Professional, managerial, technical, that's you, at top companies. Nice salaries. 25000 a year and up. There are articles to help you land a better job, how to look good in interviews, write a better resume, and the reason I still read it, articles to help you do better on the job. Mm. How to handle office politics, when to ask for a raise, how to deal with an impossible boss. Okay, I'm convinced. I'm a National Business Employment Weekly reader. Don't make a career move without it. Ask for the National Business Employment Weekly at your newsstand, or if you prefer, get the next eight issues by first-class mail for $32. Call toll-free 800-255-5000. Eight weekly issues, $32. Call 800-255-5000 now. Holy cats! Hey, Count Phantom! Well, here it is. Whoa, that is some piece of work here. What do you call this thing? It chops and cuts. Slices and dices, not available in any store at any price. Holy. Don't delay, don't delay. <laughs> hey, look at this, Left. Yeah, but how does it work? Oh, uh, perhaps you'd like a demonstration. Ah, uh, sure, I always like a free demonstration. Yeah, I'll open this, just stick your neck in the hole. Stick my neck in the hole? That's what uh, I said. Uh, now, maybe I don't need a demonstration that bit. <laughs> what? Hold it. What? Oh, Lefty, are you sure? Hey, Lefty says he'll volunteer for the sake of science. You've got to hand it to him. 
Come on. Well, let me go. Okay, Lefty. Easy now, boy. Okay. Good luck. Let the old man. Ah, let it rip. Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! I've never seen that happen before. Well, don't worry, boy. This is just what I've been working for. The I got the serum ready. Regeneration of body parts is on the way. You ready? Good luck. Oh, we're gonna need it here. Hey, lefty boy, take it easy. I'm coming. Okay. Here it comes, pal. Here it comes. Come on, lefty. No, it's gonna work. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, hey, Lefty! <laughs> hey, he's back. Hey, let me check you out here, pal. No, you all right? Oh, hey, not even left a scar. Hey, that's terrific. Looks like it worked there, Ken. Hey, let's get back to the alligator people, huh? <laughs> it worked, pal, it worked. Sinclair explained you were coming tonight. Why? I wanted to be here. Oh, Paul, it doesn't make any difference. I'm your wife and I love you. Oh, Paul, darling. You know all about tonight? Dr. Sinclair explained. He told me about the x-ray treatments and how much better you are. I know this will do it, Paul. My radiation therapy works wonders. It'll have to. Well, you'll come out of that laboratory as handsome as ever. Joyce, I love you, you know that. I wouldn't have done this to you, let you see me. I'd rather have died. Paul, please, don't say that. Well, ready, Paul. If you still want to. I still want to. Very well. Stand by for lowering position. <laughs> Either way, I'm better off than the way I am now. Oh. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. Paul was so desperate to keep you from knowing. We did everything we could. Now that I know you, I'm sure we were wrong. I'm sorry. Terribly sorry.
Controls and timing must be precise. When you're dealing with radioactivity and millions of volts of energy, the slightest deviation from standard, even a few seconds of excess time, and anything might happen. What's the exposure interval, Doctor? No more than 30 seconds. Absolute maximum. I determined that on my test alligators. Definitely. 30 seconds. No more. Paul? Yes? I'll never be able to tell you how sorry I am. Don't blame yourself. I certainly don't. Who could know everything? You're not God, Mark. I feel as if I've been playing at it and been punished. Forget it. You all right? Fine. Keep your eyes closed. Just relax. what this is? It's silica, the major component of sand and most scouring powders. It's harsh and scratchy. That's why you should clean with creamy liquid soft scrub. It's a liquid cleanser with milder abrasives. It cleans tough messes like a scouring powder, but doesn't scratch like one. And soft scrub doesn't feel gritty. So think about it. Scratchy scouring powder or creamy liquid soft scrub. Soft scrub. It cleans like a scouring powder without the scratchy sand. Introducing Questron, the beeping, buzzing, flashing, zapping way to learn. B A P. Beep. One plus two is four. Buzz. Zap. Questron is a revolutionary system of electronic workbooks with a wand that lets kids know when they're right. Beep. Yeah. Wrong. Buzz. And really terrific. Yeah. Kids catch on with Questron, the beeping, buzzing, flashing, zapping way to learn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Holy cow. Hey, this microwave vision really comes in handy, eh? Yeah, especially when you're having a party. Heck, usually around the apartment, I'm just doing a, you know, a pot pie or some little frozen kind of thing, but, hey, these are really groovy. Yeah, my guests are really gonna like them. Ah, it's one of Lefty's favorites, sure. Ah, sometimes I make these with, uh, you know, kind of cracker, but just something about this substance. You know, they don't stand up to this peanut butter oatmeal. Oh, yeah, this is wonderful stuff. These are Georgia red peanuts I've been using here. Oh, and it's delicious. Hey, how about if I make a special one up just for Lefty? Oh, yeah, he likes peanut butter with cheese. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, we'll put one here, one there, and heck, why not? <laughs> how about that? Yeah, that's just for Lefty. Hey, you like this stuff, too? Yeah, hey, chocolate fudge, peanut butter. A little cottage cheese sometimes. It's all delicious, especially with olives. Sure. You like them? Hey, load up. Why not? Okay, hey, we'll be back right after this, huh? <sighs> Better microwave it first. Murder of a prominent senator's daughter propels an ugly scandal of parental abuse. W what are you trying to tell me? Petricelli at 10 p.m. Eastern tonight.
magic number is three. Three victories in five years, and this million-dollar trophy is yours. 1985 U.S. Open champion Yvonne Lendl has held the cup the last two years. A gathering of champions look to stop Lendl from claiming permanent possession. The Europeans' Champions Championship, Sunday and Monday, here on USA. Come on, go, 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 go! Hey, you did it all right! Hey, what a party, eh? Yeah, it's not Halloween unless you're dunking for crabs. Huh? Hey, look at this, pin the tail on the gator. Hey, guys, no, 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 yeah, that's it. Go straight for it. Hey, have a good time. Hey, Pinky, what are you doing there? Uh, hey, that's the quick sandbox. Now, you be careful with that, all right? Hey, ow! Ow, what are you... Angelina! Oh, you're just getting to know each other a little better, huh? Hey, hey that looks... Whoa! Hey, we're gonna get back to the alligator people right now, all right? Stay tuned. This is the conclusion. It's real exciting! Ah, hold it! Where is he? Who do you want? That two-legged gator. Paul! Oh. You better get out of here. Uh, wait! You can't go in there. Yeah. You were ordered to leave. You have no right here. Now get out. Where is he? I know you got him here someplace. I forbid you to go in there. Oh. <laughs> so he is here, huh? <laughs> get him out of here! Where are you? Get him fucking fuck! Get out of here! No,
that you've heard the tape again, what do you think? You know, this indicates that everything she said was true. She was married to a Paul Webster who did crash in a plane. And there was a Dr. Mark Sinclair who has since disappeared. You believe her story? That's not important. Eric, we were both taught that a psychiatrist's function is to find mental illness and to cure it. As simple as that. Obviously. Now, Jane's case. This girl has lived through a horrible experience, true or not. But she has made a satisfactory adjustment. She lives a normal, useful, happy life by completely suppressing it. An obvious anxiety neurosis and amnesia suppression. You didn't need me to tell you that. No, of course not. But what am I going to do, Eric? Shall I let her go on as she is now or attempt a cure? Now, all I've got to do is bring her back in here and play back that tape. Excuse me, doctor. I'm going off duty unless there's something else. All right. Thank you. Well, Jane, one moment. Well? Yes, Doctor. That's all, Jane. Good night. Good night, Doctor. Good night, Dr. Lorimer. Good night, Jane. Holy cats, eh? Why, do you believe that? No, they're not gonna tell her at all. Ooh, gonna keep Joyce in the dark, eh? Well, I guess ignorance is bliss. Alligator shoes before, but you dig those alligator pants? Yeah, they must be wash and wear, huh? <laughs> hey, party's not over yet, though. Now nah, we'll be back in a minute. Boy, was that an incredible ending? Oh, oh, what? Yeah. Holy cow, it went right down in the quicksand. Hey, yeah. Whoa! Pizza crumbs on the floor in the kitchen? Quick, get them with the quick up. Cookie crumbs on the floor in the bedroom? Quick, get them with a quick cup. Potato chips on the floor in the living room? You know what to use. The Eureka Quick Up Vacuum Cleaner. It's cordless, rechargeable, and mounts on the wall. There's no quicker way to get a mess. The Eureka Quick Up. It's cordless. What's for dinner? Just Plain baked together. chicken for dinner? Uh, yeah, well, I need something easy. You could make a complete mushroom chicken dinner just as easy. Oh, please, be serious. Chicken Helper makes it easy, because the rice, sauce, and glaze are in the box. <laughs> well, what's the catch? No catch. All you add is fresh chicken. Everything bakes in one pan. It's as easy as baking plain chicken. You know, Chicken Helper is the easiest thing I've done all day. Do you, do you have kids? <laughs> helping ham is helping chicken. Bake a great meal. On one side is Harry, a prize-winning scientist. Obedient, loyal, friendly. On the other side is Sid. Harry Wolver is crazy, and I want him out of here. And caught in the middle is Boris. He stole you, didn't he, kid? Now they're closing in on a discovery that's probably illegal, potentially dangerous, and definitely crazy. Creator, rated R. Sounds like fun. Now at select theaters. Check newspapers for locations and showtimes. Glad you got back, boy. Yeah, the party's still swinging. Eh? You can tell that. Hey, lefty boy. Hey, look at this. That's another. What? Hey, you look just like me, pal. And it's a pretty groovy costume. I don't know if I can give you a first prize, though. Hey, it's time for us to go, you know. Yeah, we're going to keep the party going a little while longer, but we're going to have to leave, okay? Remember, coming up next on USA Network, Petra Chili. Oh, you're going to enjoy it, boy. And remember. Next Sunday, this coming Sunday, 1 p.m., that's Eastern Time, right back here in the video vault, okay? I'm gonna have two really groovy movies for you. The first one, The Spirit of Bruce Lee. Yeah! Bruce Lee himself, boy, plus The Doctor of Doom. Oh, yeah, interspecies brain transplants and Gomar. Oh, yeah, everybody's gonna be coming by, okay? So I hope to see you. That's Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Till then, keep your nose in the wind and your tail to yourself. See you next time, pilgrim. 
Inhibited how to apply to Next Thursday night, Sophia Loren and Peter Finch star in the powerful story of a Holocaust survivor who sets out to destroy the Nazi husband who betrayed her, Judith on the USA movie. Now stay tuned as the death of a senator's daughter propels a scandal of parental abuse on Petrocelli. Next on USA. I'm Commander, I ain't no jerk. See me on USA Network. I'm Commander, I love to play.